Hi, I'm Mikey, and in this video, we're going to talk about PCI DSS and some changes that you need to be aware of for this compliance framework. So if you don't already know, PCI DSS is an information security standard, and it stands for the Payment Card Industry Data Security Standard. And it's all about making sure that if your company handles or processes cardholder information, that it is stored and processed in the correct way to protect that information from misuse or theft. Now, the previous version of PCI PCI DSS was version 3.2.1 and that was released back in 2018. However, now the latest version is version 4 that was released back in March of 2022. And there's a few new changes that came along with this update, around 60 new requirements that businesses need to comply with as part of that standard. So in this video today, we're going to take five of those key areas and we're going to talk about what your business needs to be aware of when upgrading to version 4 four of PCI DSS. So let's get started. The first one is an enhanced focus on vulnerability management. In version 3.2.1, it was necessary to fix critical and high risk vulnerabilities. And version four takes that a step further. So you now need to also fix medium, low and informational risk vulnerabilities basically making sure you're addressing any vulnerability that you have in your environment. That's really important because modern day attacks don't really just use a single exploit. They could also chain multiple smaller vulnerabilities together to gain access to your system. So by patching or fixing vulnerabilities across your whole environment, you're making sure that you're protecting yourself from those kind of attacks. So number two, this is all about ensuring that you're protecting your systems from malware. The PCI DSS version four, requirement 5.3.3 states that you now need to ensure that you've got a process in place to automatically scan devices like USB sticks as soon as they are logically mounted or inserted into devices. Now that's really important and it's something that should be available to you as part of an endpoint protection solution to make sure that you're not inserting any malicious devices into a device that could potentially be delivering uh, malware or some other form of virus into your network. Number three is all about improving your security awareness training for your staff. Now version 3.2.1 did have quite a lot in there about how to train your staff properly but again PCI DSS version 4 takes that to a new level so it mandates that you must be training your staff at least annually for cybersecurity awareness and there's also a lot more detail in there now about the types of topics that you need to train your staff on such as social engineering or phishing attacks. Now this is a really welcome change as we all know in the IT world, humans are the best form of defense in a company. It doesn't matter how much technology you've got, it can all be brought down um, by perhaps a single phishing email that a user clicks on. So it's very important and it's a really welcome change for version four that these kind of controls are introduced. Number four is a greater emphasis on authentication measures. So PCI DSS version four now is mandating MFA or multi-factor authentication. And that's requirement eight Point four. And while MFA is not a silver bullet when it comes to your cybersecurity by any means, when you use it as part of some of the other requirements that are outlined in PCI DSS, it can really help to uplift your security posture. Lastly, number five, this is all about a custom approach to how you can comply with PCI DSS. So in version four, they've introduced the idea of a customized approach. Now, if you're a larger organization, this is particularly good because if you already have a way of complying with certain requirements of PCI DSS, but you're not following the exact letter of what is defined in the standard itself, you can use the customized approach to demonstrate that you are still complying with the standard, albeit in an alternative way. That wraps up our five key changes that are coming as part of PCI DSS version four. Our advice will be to start early. There's hundreds of sub requirements in PCI DSS version four, and the deadline to be fully compliant is in March 2025. Some of those requirements are smaller projects. Some of them are quite complex tasks. So we'd advise to get started early. And if you do need some help in complying with PCI DSS and ensuring that your business is doing everything they need to do to stay compliant, contact defense.com to find out more about how we can help you.